first thing we will learn uh, in this lecture about types is uh, type constructors. There are three type constructors, array, function and pointer. And uh, um, we will learn how to interpret and how to write this. But this is not a very important part of, uh, of the course. To uh, neither to be able to write very cryptic declarations or to interpret them. But I will uh, uh, give you a hint how to, to read this. The first thing is to do is to uh, find the variable. <coughs> so here is A. And uh, what we should do then is to uh, look to the right. <coughs> and if there is either a left uh, parenthesis or a left bracket, then we consume that. By consuming, I mean reading this and up to the matching uh, right uh, parenthesis. And if there is none, then we check to the left if there is a star. And if this, then we consume that and continue looking for something to the right. Okay, so how can we interpret this? Well, <clears throat> we, we start with A and look to the right. Okay, then we find an array. Uh, so A is an array. Okay, then we have concluded that and we continue looking to the right. And what we look for, we look for either a left bracket or a left parenthesis, but we can't find any. We find instead a, a, a right parenthesis. So we ignore that and go to the left instead. There we find a pointer. So A is an array of pointers. Okay, so then we wonder uh, of what type. Okay, so we continue looking for things to the right and there we don't find anything interesting. So we skip uh, this and this. Um, so what we have uh, concluded now, A is an array of pointers. And this parenthesis is just because of the grammar rules that we need it. Uh, otherwise, I mean, if we wanted to have a pointer, therefore we need the, the parenthesis. Otherwise we would uh, get, without this parenthesis, we would uh, get the A is an array of functions, which return uh, a pointer to an int, but we cannot have an array of functions. So uh, we need to, to, I mean, we don't want to have an array of functions. We want to have an array of pointers to functions. Okay, so now we have consumed everything uh, from the left to the right parenthesis. Okay, what do we do now? We continue looking to the right and look for left bracket or left parenthesis. We find the left parenthesis, so this must be a function, or more precisely, the uh, parameter list of a function. And we, well, we redo the same thing with um, parsing the, uh, the type of the parameter one at a time <coughs> and eventually find uh, the right parenthesis. As we can see here, uh, the, the parameter there we have, well, we can have, but it's not, not necessary in a declaration to have a name of the parameter. And that makes uh, finding the beginning of this uh, decryption a bit harder, but ignore it in this course. Okay, so when we have found this, we are ready and can look at uh, the return type. I mean, we don't find anything else. And uh, we find the return type to be int. Okay, let's look at some other examples. Well, what I should say is that we, we find the type by starting at the variable name and then going from inside to the outside. Okay, so there is not much to say. Here, B, we look to the right, find nothing. We find B is a pointer, and the same here. And here we start to the, to the, to the right, and the A, D and E, they are both arrays. So there's not much uh, strange. Now we have, uh, well, what should F be? 
we, we start looking to the right and there is a, a bracket. So F is an array of pointers to int. Okay, G is also an array of pointers to arrays the, where each element is an int. Okay, H is a function which returns a pointer to int. And I, uh, we start looking to the right, we find nothing interesting, uh, but to the left we find a pointer. I mean a star. So I is a pointer uh, to a function which returns an int. Okay, now J is uh, a function, uh, but it tries to return a function uh, and that is not possible in C, so it's uh, invalid C code. Uh, K instead, it's of, uh, we start here, it's a function and it returns a pointer to a function which returns an int. Okay. Uh, some more about initialization. Uh, when we have this uh, struct and uh, in, uh, uh, sorry arrays as well, we can initialize them like this. This is like a summary. We have seen this part of this before, but there is some new. Uh, the first two elements get the, the values one and two, and the rest are set to zero. Here. Uh, that we don't know the number of elements in B, but the compiler can count, and it's, it concludes that B has three elements uh, with these values. Here, it doesn't know either, but it finds that the fourth element, or I mean the, the element at index four, should be 12. So uh, there are five elements in C, and those which didn't get the number a value from uh, the initialization get the value zero. Okay, uh, now we come to this uh, struct and we can write it like this dot a is assigned to three, so that one is three, c is five, and the next d is six. b didn't get the value, so it's zero. This one is undefined, we know that. Uh, f is zero. Now we uh, make a type def with an incomplete. I would say uh, this is uh, greater than five in level. Uh, you can safely ignore this. Uh, but what it does is to uh, make a type def uh, with uh, um, an incomplete array. It's incomplete in the sense that we don't know how many elements it has. And then we use that as the type for an array, which is initialized and uh, G has two elements and H have three elements. So the point here is that this incomplete type is uh, completed at each instance it's used. So this G does not say array should have two elements and uh, uh, in, in which case H would have one uh, element too, too many. Uh, it's not like that. It's it array remains incomplete. Okay. So you can ignore that. Uh, but well, it can also be interesting. This is actually an example of uh, what the, uh, the ECC standard committee was asked. You can ask the standard committee anything and they are required to answer at a meeting. Of course, uh, there should be interesting questions, but uh, you can always ask for a clarification uh, of what the standard means. And uh, they will discuss for hours sometimes. Uh, okay, so here we have a um, VLA, a variable length array, and the contents of these 10 elements is undefined. Now the question is, can we initialize it? No, it's, it's, this is forbidden. 
And the reason we cannot uh, initialize this, uh, despite we could initialize that, is because it's a variable length array and it will be too complicated to do that for compilers. Uh, to do it efficiently in uh, uh, that would benefit the uh, uh, most C programmers. So therefore it's forbidden. One of the uh, reasons is that even though it could be possible to do that, but um, the C standard does not accept uh, language constructs which would make the code all of a sudden by surprise slow to implement properly. So it's better to say this is forbidden. 